everyone, it's me, Meme, also known as Mem's Night, and this is my friend. Why are you bringing this in here in this video? I'm sorry, it's the mist. <laughs> All right, this is my friend Obehi, and today's video is a BMS inspire friendship series video. Okay, so basically, it's very simple. I ask you questions and you answer them. That's the way it goes. This is Obey. I see how it really at work. So if I'm not too did it, it's not because I don't love her, it's because we don't see each other finish. <laughs> see finish and how the matter. All right, first question. How long have we known each other? Since 2002. Yeah, since 2002. I'm sure we've said this before in another video yeah, we did that's together. That's how many years? Yeah, Seven, that's 15? 15 years. Yeah. We've known each other for 15 whole years. <laughs> Wait, they're coming to that. <laughs> Second question, how did we meet? We met at university in Ghana. First year? Yes. First year at university. Um, it was ish, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, a few of us. You guys were already at ish? No, we were in Sabah. And so then... I was in Sabah as well. We were all in Sabah. No. But we didn't know each other. Was I, I in ish? We, when we got there, when we got to ish... You were already international there. students oh. hostel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, we shall met in first year in two thousand and two, um, and somehow we just all connected. All the Nigerian students that were there, mm. you know, talking about stories. And Obehi and her sister, I met them because I had I knew someone called Obehi from my um, secondary school. Her name was the easiest for me to remember, and I don't. I think that's how. Like the name just stuck there for me and you and your family have been my That's family my adopted yeah, sister. exactly anyway so the next question is give a brief history about your friendship and how you became friends i'll let you t talk about that one how did you become friends well i think we were already f well we like you said we were friends at, in uni and then we moved to a new hostel after like yeah. two years or second year, let me give and this then story. we became <laughs> wait, wait, okay, we're friends, general friends, and then we became roommates. I don't yes. know how we became roommates. But let me give this gist. Wait, so in first year we were in Sabah in a hall in University of Ghana. We're in this hall called Sabah, and we didn't really like it. Well, I didn't like it. And when I came back, I came very early back to school. And when I came, they hadn't opened the hostels to international students, so they put me in like the main hall me and a few other people and it was nice it was like it was like teachers quarters, quarters. it was like teachers quarters and i loved it so i asked with the, air condition with air condition oh my goodness so i asked the what they call the guy the hall master yeah whatever shall i shall ask the hall master guy i'm like please what will it take for me to live in this room and he told me how much it cost and that was even less than no it was about what we were paying about what we were paying in the international students hostel yeah for our normal so i said to myself if i get a group of girls and we split the rent we'll be paying cheaper than we were paying yeah. we're paying mm. so i was like okay start looking for people so immediately i knew that i was going to ask Obehi and her sister because i love them and then i asked my other friends yudi and ifunaya and so all of us moved into this room and i chose to stay with Obehi in the small room while the other three stayed um, in a bigger room I'm just gonna ignore the noise that's coming from that side my son is destroying my house while I make this video we're roommates we were in the same room and we we're getting on well I was a very very good roommate <laughs> in my opinion but someone couldn't live with me Imagine with people, with people. With to, people. Be fair, to be fair, yeah, she was struggled to live with people, and unfortunately, I was the unfortunate culprit. one. Yeah, the culprit, exactly. And so she moved. Okay, out. in my defense, I'm an only daughter, so I kind of grew up alone in my own room, my own space, my own clothes, my own thing. While they all have siblings from if not all of the girls I lived with had siblings, so they're used to sharing clothes, sharing stuff, sharing food, which I'm not even used to, and I couldn't understand it. It was just it was very difficult for me. It was just a, a phase I had to go through and eventually we moved back in together. So I moved out of the room to a single room by myself in third year. Yeah. But in final year, I moved back again with them and we all lived happily ever after. So that's pretty much been our history. Yeah. And then we, after uni, we came to 
London to study together. Yeah, we did the same the training, training in London. We decided to become teachers. Yeah. Now, this is where it gets. What do you like and dislike about each other? I have gone in and out, fallen in and out of love. <laughs> okay, a thousand times <laughs> with Obehi, like in uni, we used to fight all the time. I don't think I've fought as much with anybody else as much as I fought with you, and I think that's why we're so close now. You know, I think that that's what has brought us this close. Like, if anything, do you know, I don't even think there's any need to talk about what I like and dislike about you because I feel like for both of us, we talk about it. And I feel like that's the best thing you can do is be honest with each other. We know when we're annoying each other and sometimes we can just laugh about it and move on. And sometimes we have to talk about it and move on. Yeah, yeah maybe I said everything, to be honest. I don't think that there is... We talk about everything. What I don't dislike is just part of you. Can't play. <laughs> you want to be serious. Maybe it's joking. Like every time when she and when she gets into this play mode, it's like she's got this switch on that you can never turn off till she sleeps off. <laughs> like this. Exactly. <laughs> and then when she becomes serious, she's so serious that you can't even get through. And one minute she's so serious, the next minute she's playing. What have we learned from each other? Um what have we learned? What have I learned from you? I've learned to be I've learned to be very sincere with you. And being your friend has taught me to be even to be more sincere with people. And Meme has taught me how to, you know, give people the benefit of the doubt. Meme believes in people. Is you can't even believe in the devil. She believes in everybody. I mean, when sometimes I'm just like, please just ex that person. Maybe like, no, maybe they're trying. Even when people hurt her a thousand times, she still falls for the same mistake. And she's like, I think they didn't mean it, mean it. I said, Did somebody took that inside your eye for you. So I'm clear. But um, it has taught me that. So, yeah, that's one thing I've learned. And she's also taught me how to fool around sometimes, sometimes, just a tiny bit. So, you have taught me how to be more organized. <clears throat> you know, I used to be all over the shop, very spontaneous, just da 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 da, do do do. But I'm a lot more organized. And with work, you've inspired me because. Me, I can be like, ah, it's not working. Oh, yeah, let's change. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's try dancing around with the pink tie. <laughs> you know, and Obey, you bring me back to what is the purpose? What's the purpose? Why are we doing this? You know, and that helps me to calm down, calm down, reevaluate, reassess, and, you know, change. Okay, strategy. final question. You've been very good and very quiet. This is her son, by the way. Not mine, but. What advice would you give to friends? Because the world is becoming very fickle and it's very difficult to find genuine people and true friends. And I feel so sorry for people, young people who are growing up, you mm. know. Their priorities are just so misplaced, mm. you know. So what advice would you give a young person in this generation, not your young self, because our young selves were very innocent. A young person in this generation, what advice would you give them in developing friendships and what kind of friends, you know? The advice I would give to somebody, um, if you were looking for something in a friend, look out for people that will bring out the best in you. Meme never, I'm just using Meme because obviously we are talking about... Uh, and I'm right here. here. Exactly. Meme is always happy for me when I achieve something. And vice versa, I'm happy for her when she has achieved something. And we're not competing with each other and looking at, oh, when will I get so? Yeah, when yeah. we're genuinely happy for each other. So that's something you can look out for, someone that yeah. is happy for you. And can I say, it's not like the thoughts don't come because we're human. Yes. You know, we may sound so perfect. Perfect. That's the thing. The thing is, yeah. We are not at no, all. No, we are that's not exactly and what I was trying to say. The beauty about, about, our friendship i think that one thing that has really kept our friendship going is the fact that we have god yeah we have a relationship with him. god and yeah. he fixes and us. we constantly want to be better better exactly want to yeah. be better honestly having a relationship with god is just so beautiful yeah. so beautiful Obe and i we've had 
like instances where he speaks to us in mm. our s separate homes yeah. and when we come and yes. he told us the exact, exact same, same thing. thing and it has happened countless, countless times, times. Countless a lot times. of times summary of it all if you want a friend find jesus I'm telling you. and then find I'm a good friend you. word <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching this brings us to the end of this video um Obehi, thank you thank for you. allowing me to feature you in this video again how do i normally close my video she doesn't watch my video you see the problem my main friends they don't watch the channel they don't watch it spread love spread positivity and inspire yay and live to inspire see i oh, tried you did good